What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Judio and I'm back again with a new video. Today we're bringing Candace Owens back to the channel. We're going to be reacting to her video. This one is titled, Stop Glorifying Mental Illness. <laughs> I think I know where this is going to go, but I'm just going to keep quiet and listen to what she has to say. We're not going to discuss anything at the start of the video, so we're going to be objective and we're going to keep an open mind and then we'll discuss at the end. Without wasting your time, let's get to it. The shooting happens and you're as pregnant as I am right now, 35 weeks pregnant, it hits you differently. I feel very emotional about it and part of those emotions that I'm going through is a lot of anger and frustration. I get angry when people go online and they say, I don't understand. I don't understand how this could possibly happen. I don't understand what would possess somebody to go buy an AK-47 and shoot up an elementary school. We well, you know what I don't understand. I don't understand why these people don't understand how we get to this point in society. <laughs> okay. Look around you. We have normalized every single step of mental illness. So it's difficult for me to comprehend what it is to these people that becomes the red line. Think about it. Think about everything going on every single day that the majority of people don't have the courage to stand up to. For example, I just made, this is a quick list, right? It, it must be the mutilation of bodies, of these young children's bodies, right? That's really making people stand up and say something. But these same people stand behind children being aborted in the womb up to nine months. Where is your red line on that? Is it the mutilation of innocent life? Is that, is that where the red line is? I'm only asking because I feel like it was just a couple of weeks ago when we were being told and women were marching in the street demanding the right to end a infant, an infant's life when they're in the womb. Like right now, right? I'm eight and a half months pregnant, about to give birth. People think that I should just be able to go, my body, my choice, right? Oh, but Candace, that's different. It's so different because like it's happening inside of my- This has been causing a lot of debates. We're not even gonna go into this right now. <laughs> Let's just focus on the mental illness. But this also, the abortion thing has been causing a lot of debates and I'd like to know what you guys think of it. My body, and so like that's fine. Millions and millions of infants being taken out, having their bodies ripped limb for limb. That's totally fine. That's different. This is a totally different scenario. Is it the mutilation of, of bodies that, that's really sticking in your head? Like when we talk about the gender debate and you have these young children that are being encouraged to mutilate their own bodies, to go on puberty blockers, to go get surgery, right? to go get permanently alter their bodies with surgery because they have a feeling that's being encouraged to them in the classroom. Oh, but Candace, that's different. We have to be more accepting. That's a part of LGBTQIA PRS rights. Did you, was that? She just touches everything. People must really, really like hate her. In fact, I think hate is a, is a small word. <laughs> the way she goes really in depth in the topic without having like a, um, like a gray area, the way she addresses the topic. It's really in-depth, but I like it, I encourage it. Not because I totally, or I completely agree everything she says. I agree with it because she's able to speak up and speak her mind. You know, a lot of people might be thinking this, but not saying it, and then they take actions, you don't understand why. But she's been expressive and telling you what she thinks, telling you what might be happening and what other people might be going through. So we understand, we get to educate ourselves and see a different light, you know? So yeah, I like I like her work, I must say. Um, I'm not a psychopath, like some of you have tagged people who like Candace Owen. <laughs> people who like Candace Owen, I think Andrew Tate, people just call them psychopaths, but it is what it is. <laughs> your red line? Oh no, no, that's different. You've In your head, you've programmed yourself They've programmed themselves to believe that that is somehow different. The suicide rates. What about COVID? People that are pretending that they care about the life of children. These are the same people that were happy or at least didn't say anything when suicide rates were exploding across the country as these children were forced to stay at home. And then even when they went to school, were allowed to finally go back to school and have communication with one another. We're forced to sit behind masks for hours and hours and hours for a virus that they had a virtual 0% chance of dying from. Didn't matter, nobody cared. 
Nobody cared. Oh, that's different, Candace, because there was a pandemic and it just, I don't know, made me feel more comfortable to see two-year-olds that were being mad. <laughs> Every topic she's touching on there, just very, very vital, yet very sensitive at the same time. Yeah, it's not something we can just speculate on it right now we have to go into into everything in depth and there's no time for it today <laughs> i felt safer or something but i value life this is my red line is the elementary school candace not all of that not the kids committing suicide and mutilating their bodies none of that i'm also enjoying all of the celebrities who have mutilated their own faces over the last couple of years right you look at the before and after picture of these celebrities with nothing <laughs> like what they looked like they literally go in and say, I want a different face because they're mentally ill and they're sick. We live in that society, right? These are the celebrities that stand up and say, I just don't. And she's putting like pictures right next to the video. <laughs> oh my goodness. Understand what could ever possess somebody to do something so crazy. I know that I can mentally get to a place where I slaughter my own face, but please hear it from me. Hear it from me about the mental illness in our society that's pervasive. Take the guns away, that's the problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially grilling season. And you know that I'll be getting all of my beef, chicken, and seafood from Good Ranchers We're this summer. Good Ranchers this. is actually giving away two for free. Go to the red line. Get red line, that's my, that's, that's honestly my question today. Where is your red line? Is it because this was a particularly violent crime? Well, you didn't have that issue when we had Black Lives Matter riots. You stayed quiet because that was different, Candace. It was totally fine to burn down cities because like racism's different and like we had to post a black square and, and it was important to allow people that were violent criminals to commit violent crimes so they could, you know, let out their anger about the injustices. Look around you. We live in a society where violence and mutilation and death is abundant. Yes. How dare you ask the question now, how did we get here? How dare you make a post about what needs to be done when you didn't have the courage to say anything about any of these topics, when you still don't have the courage because you're afraid of being canceled. I have celebrities that follow me under fake accounts. I speak to them regularly but they're afraid to say, I follow Candace Owens and I agree that we shouldn't be doing True. these things because they don't want their entire <laughs> lives to be ruined. Mm -hmm. Celebrities under duress, too fearful to say what is abundantly clear. Our society is almost- And that's why I said, I like what she's doing. You know, Candace Owens, and Rita, the people who are willing to, to speak up, you know, to create the conversation, you know, cause it's not about violence and war and trying to shut somebody up. It's about, let's talk about it you know let's 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 meet at the center you know let's try to find the, the best place to be at you know Spacing so i like the fact that she's illness. talking about it and that terminal illness is due to the fact that we have an abundance of cowardice we are facing a deficit of courage in this country and all around the world right now true that's, that's the truth that's true that's what's going on people are posting their mental illnesses in their twitter bios these are my pronouns. I'm a fish today. I'm a fish. If you say anything about it, you're transphobic and I'm gonna send a mob on you. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe it's because okay. we avoid saying that these are obvious clues that this person is mentally ill. Thanks for joining me on this segment of Candace. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. To so that was Stop Glorifying Mental Illness by Candace Owens very interesting way she put it <laughs> yeah but what she's trying to say in summary is all these things pile up you know keeping children at home um abortion laws a lot of things you know all these things they add up to because depression is not something that just happens one day you don't wake up in the morning and be like oh i'm depressed today let me go take my life it doesn't happen like that it's it's a compilation of different kind of like things occurrences even the videos, the visuals you watch on TV, the events around you, all those things are causing something. And we live in a society today where everything we try to, we try to be in between. Everything has to be in a gray area. It's no more right or wrong. It's, it's now become your truth and my truth. When I was growing up, I knew the truth. I understand that truth can be based on um, how you were raised or your experiences, I understand you can think that's the truth. 
but I only knew one thing and that was the truth. But now we've now made it your truth, my truth, the fact. We've tried to meet everything in the middle and that is hurting the world now because <laughs> everything cannot really be in the middle. It has to be good or evil. You know, you have to like outline things and call it what it really is. You know, you don't you don't have to be right all the time. You're allowed to be wrong, but then somebody has to be able to tell you you're wrong and you have to be able to take it. And you can tell other people they are wrong and they should be able to tell it or to take it, pardon me. So no need, like I really, I totally understand what she's trying to say. I know she's taught so many points people might think controversial, vaccine, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not gonna speak, speak on that. LGBTQ, that's a very deep topic. Um, it cannot be spoken of in one day. Uh, she spoke about um, abortion laws, that one also a very deep topic. We might bring different videos to expand on these things. But yeah, Andrew Tate said something in the Valutainment, um, yeah, Valutainment interview or podcast. He said people are hiding behind the shield of mental illness. Yeah, I know people don't even like Andrew Tate to start with, lots of people don't like him. But he said some things that I think are very important. You know, you wake up in the morning, you want to achieve your goals or you have the the zeal or you have the thoughts of achieving your goals, but you or the, the society has projected the shield or the cover of mental illness. So you, you hold on to it and, you know, say I'm, I'm sick today or I'm feeling depressed so I cannot do this thing. It's how he put it, you know, he put it in a way that was very understandable. Maybe I'm not expressing it the way it should be but it made sense you know it made sense you don't have to agree everything these people say the way i take uh, i see information i just you know um allow everything to come then i pick and choose what what works or what sounds um right you know it doesn't have to be the truth the fact just you know you know just take the information and put the pieces together try to see what you can make out of it that's how i take information but anyways, that was a good video. Let me know what you think of it. If you want us to bring more like this to the channel, feel free to send me the links and we'll check it out. Um, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.